Hello, this is Zach OX again, and today I'm going to go over loops, um, parts of the loops I didn't go over. I went over uh, four next statements. They're almost like loops. They do cycles through numbers. But So I'm going to be going over loops today, uh, ex exit statements, and on error. Error meaning E-R-R-O-R. -R -R. Not error is A-I-R, but anyways, let's start off with standard EXE. Hit OK go to view and then code. Let's make this bigger. Okay, we'll start off with the original option explicit. You should always have that near the top. Shows if you have any declares or not. In this case we won't really need it. Alright, declare dim int as integer. Okay, loop. Right, we're going to do while int next number equals zero loop. Okay, if I was to run this program, remember when we first initialize right here with int uh, next number, it's going to be equal to zero. So it's going to come through here and do a loop. And this loop is going to just keep on going. There's no code in the in this loop, as you can see. But it's just going to continue because this is always equal to n i or excuse me int next number uh, is always equal to zero. You can also do do until it equals zero, but it's already equal, equal at zero. So this would be the opposite, and it would stop immediately. Um, but these are the major ones: do while and do until, and loop at the end right here. So we can do while it's equal to zero, and we'll say. It equals itself plus one. So as soon as the loop starts right here, saying do while it's equal to zero, continue this line. Well, now it's equal to one. So the loop finishes because it hits loop right here. It can't go back up here and repeat. Now, if it said do while it's equal to zero, and like I said, if I remove this line, it's just going to keep repeating and repeating and repeating. Now I could have do while it does not equals zero. That's the does not right there. Um, or if it's greater than, less than. Okay, so we're going to keep that, oops, excuse me, got to keep that equal there, or some kind of statement. Um, we're going to keep that as is. That's just the normal types of loops. Um, there's also different wording for it. Um, I think it's wind and will, but you know what? That's the major ones. You really can look up loops more if you want to. Uh, so what we do is now is the ex exit statements. Uh, let me just write it out here. So what we could do is exit sub. Now what this does is if there's some code down here, that code will not run down here if we actually put, let's say, message box it just to kind of show message box Let's put code whatever okay if I was to run this as soon as we get here it's gonna exit and not actually show this message box now this exit sub is saying for this sub in sub if this was a function if you write your own function and you have your return whatever x is equal to zero you could actually have exit function above that and I believe you'd get your answer still zero because um, x wasn't equal to anything and initially it would be zero I believe that's what happened but let's say we set it equal to one and we did exit before that well then we aren't going to get it's equal to one um, we could have some other code going on and then have an exit function so you're wondering well what's this exit kind of stuff well, we can exit loops too. Um, if we were doing something in here and something happened, and we don't need to continue the loop at that point, maybe we have an if statement. If 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 int next number equals one when it does, then end if we just have exit do I believe it is. Now that will exit right out of this loop. Um, we also have exit while, I think. No, I think you just stay with do. Okay, so just stay with do. We have exit property 
which I'll talk about later when we do properties. Uh, exit select. So if you had a case, case select, let's select case int next number and select. You have case uh, one. Below it, you should be able to put um, exit select. And that should, well, from what I did look up on the internet, this should exist. Maybe it's exit case. Doesn't really matter, to tell you the truth. I don't even know why, if, if that is even real off the web page that I was looking at. Um, you really don't need an exit case here because this is just an if statement. And what happens when you get to the exit, this case right here, it just picks whatever case answer. You have case else, like I think I explained that in a different video. You don't really need an exit because once you do that case, it exits already from it with the in select. So it doesn't make any sense why they posted that there. That's why I don't like to go off other websites and read stuff. Um, most of the time I just stick with what I know. So we'll go with on air now. Let's go ahead and erase all this junk. Start over. And go to form load. Now we're going to do on air and we use go to and we'll just put um, air spot. And what you need to do is have air spot at the bottom and that's what it's going to look like. Um, so here what's going to happen is if there's an air, so let's, let's create one for instance, let's put um, above it, excuse me, or we can just put low, it doesn't matter. I believe, I believe this will cause an error right here. Now, if it had an error, it's going to go down to this error spot immediately. So you could add code here. Um, you can have error dot clear to clear the error code because maybe you don't need it or error dot description maybe you need to get description and print it out on screen with message box um, there's some other stuff here but those are the main two things now you can put go to anything here but at the bottom you need to have it now if you didn't have the error and you don't want this code down here to go off this is where the exit comes in you'd have exits up. You have to have that above because as it gets down here, if there was an error, it still goes down. Um, so this error spot right here, if there's code below, it's going to go off. But if you have the exit sub above it, you don't have to worry. As soon as it got here, it exits. And you can see we did need an exit sa statement. Um, so, And we also can do on air resume next. Now with that, you don't need that really. With this, if there was an error, it just continues. Um, I would only use this if you really have to. Otherwise, have your if statements. If it is going to equal something that's going to cause an error, then it can't. Um, you don't want to have on error everywhere. You only want to use it when you have to. In this case, don't really need it. We can just fix this problem. Or we could say if it doesn't equal 3, then we could avoid this whole statement right here. But the idea is to only use error when you have to pass through something um, because there's no other way to detect. Uh, you could use it for DirectX um, API statements. That's what you'll mainly be using. If you're writing anything out on the screen like I've been showing, you're not going to really need the on air. Um, so that's going to do it for now. And I hope you had a joyful time watching. But anyways, give me some comments. Tell me what's up. If you like what I'm posting, great. I'll just keep doing as much as I can. And thank you.